it seems like no matter what your opinion is, there's always someone saying it's the right opinion or it's the wrong opinion or why, why are you hating on so-and-so or you know, you're wrong and this is what this person said. And it's fun and fine to argue about facts and details. We're talking about things that are actually true and verifiably true or false regarding you know how many pixels are there actually or how is it really a full frame or is there like a 1.1 crop or you know like the the technical details of the stuff can be fun to argue over sometimes when you're getting to some kind of truth but oftentimes in what we're talking about it is usually the subjective opinion of the person presenting the information they're going to have their take on it and a lot of times you'll hear people or people will say well that's just your opinion and that's exactly the point. It is just my opinion. That's all I'm sharing. That's what is unique to me. Uh, the, the, the facts and the specs, those are not unique. The unique part is the opinion and the takeaways and the impressions and the what I think. And that's not to say just because I think it, someone else is wrong for thinking differently. No, in fact, I like disagreements. I like differences of opinion because maybe someone thinks something that I hadn't considered before. Or maybe I say something that makes you think a little bit differently about something you hadn't considered before. These battles or arguments or talking about cameras that are bad or talking about cameras that are good, these aren't right or wrong, they're just opinions and everyone is entitled to their opinion. And I think it's equally valid to listen to everyone's opinion because some people might be misinformed and then you can clue them in and say, here's why your, your opinion is actually, it is actually wrong because the facts you're using are wrong. In which case, that's totally valid. Other times, someone might be operating with all the right facts. They just have a different takeaway or different perspective than you or I do, which is also totally fair and valid. And that's the benefit of subjective content creation. What looks good? What looks bad? What sounds good? What sounds bad? These are very subjective things. What's beautiful? What's ugly? Very, very subjective. And as content creators, when we're out there taking photos or shooting videos or piecing together an edit, we only have our opinions of like how to make it. No fact spreadsheet will ever tell you how to do it exactly right. You have to inject your own opinion into what you think, making decisions of what looks better, what looks worse. Stand over here, no stand over there. I'm gonna use this focal length because I want it to look a certain way because I think that looks better, subjective opinion. So sharing opinions, I think, is really valuable in terms of strengthening and refining your own opinions so that when I look at the progress of like how, um, you know, the first photos I shot or the first videos I made and the progression from there on and how things improve, yes, the technical fact type things have helped. Oh, it's higher resolution. Oh, it's shallower depth of field so it looks more cinematic. There are a few technical things that help out along the way, but a lot of it is driven by the subjective of my personal tastes evolving over time by watching and consuming content, movies, television, YouTube, seeing things, looking at Instagram, saying, wow, that looks good, wow, that looks bad, and then recognizing that and drawing an opinion, a conclusion on my own wondering how they did it, why they did it, and knowing, okay, I want to replicate that, or no, I never want my thing to look like that because I think it looks bad. All of these opinions fuel the progression and development over time to make you better at what you do. So just because someone is sharing their opinion, I would encourage you, don't think that they're just hating or that they must be wrong or, you know, oh, so-and-so said this and they're right and I trust them. All. It's like, it's all just information that then is processed by you, the person consuming it all, so you can draw your own opinion and your own conclusion based on your experience as well. I think that's how we all strengthen each other and we all get better by listening to different opinions and not just agreeing with everybody. That's not what I'm saying either. It's not like, oh, everybody's right and you just have to, everybody, every opinion's valid. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying, listen to all of it weigh it all equally and don't take it as a personal attack or a, you know that oh someone liked a camera and someone else didn't who's who's right who's wrong it's like they have very different reasons for why they have opinions but i think the fact that they have those opinions and then they share them is equally valid that only, it makes my opinions better and stronger too so it's just really 
easy to fall in the trap of, well, that's just your opinion. That's, that's kind of all we have. The facts are the facts. The opinions are what separate and differentiate and drive us to get better in the long run because we can all work together taking advice or not taking advice. You can reject advice too. Someone says, hey, I like the look of this. This looks great to me. And you say, that looks bad. Well, you know never to do whatever it is they're doing. And you can look at someone else and say, I like this. This looks good to me. This is what I did. Oh, okay, you like that? Yeah, I do see that. I, that does look better than what I'm doing. And then you can emulate what they're doing a little bit and shape and refine your own opinion over time. Just something to keep in mind because some of these things, when you're talking about Canon or Sony or Panasonic or Blackmagic, like it, there's the loyalty factor there and people get excited one way or the other of, of you know, oh, fanboy type stuff. And it's just all probably unnecessary because people love what they love. They like what they like. It's, I don't know, what's your favorite color? Is there a right answer? Is there a wrong answer? Someone who says, I like blue, are they wrong? If you like green, it's subjective. It's what's pleasing to you as the individual. And over time, those things can change. You might like red and then realize, oh, you actually like maroon. Or you might like blue and then realize you actually like teal. Things can change and develop over time and it's refining your own personal taste based on the tastes of others and the opinions of others.